going on the Shein website and knowing immediately if something is going to be an actual piece of trash or if it's going to be a really decent article of clothing, I feel is something I've gotten really, really good at. So I guess we're putting this to the test again. Shein did send me these items for collab, but of course I am going to roast the items that are terrible. As I mentioned in my previous video, if you're in college or you've graduated college, you probably want to start shifting your wardrobe to make it a little bit more workwear appropriate. So in this haul, I have items that are appropriate for both college that can be dressed down dress more casually and also dressed up for a more professional corporate type environment. So let's start with shoes. So first I've got these little heeled ankle boots, I guess I would call them. I am very impressed by the quality of these. I have, I think these are the highest quality pair of boots that I've ever gotten from Shein. Material is nice and sturdy. They are kind of like a leather material-ish. Obviously it's fake leather. This is Shein. This is the kind of material that if you're like me and you spill coffee or whatever else on your shoes, you can easily just like wipe it up. I ordered these in a nine because generally you want to size up between half a size and one full size in Shein shoes and they fit perfectly. Next, I've got this pair of beige mules. They came in a couple of different colors. I ordered these in a European size 41. It seems ballet flats are coming back into style. I personally think they're really pretty, but they give me blisters and they make my feet sweat and my feet are already really Really sweaty to begin with so I'm not ready to commit to that. If you told me these were from a department store like Macy's or JCPenney, I would believe you. The actual shoe is a little bit wide. I plan to wear those little like half socks underneath these so I think that will solve the problem for me. All right, pants section. I ordered a couple different pairs of trousers I would say they are. I have ordered many pairs of trousers from Shein and the best style of trousers I've ever had from there has been the first pair I've ever bought and since then nothing has held up to that standard not because anything else is bad but more so my preference for type of fabric this is the first pair of trousers they don't seem to be particularly see-through although I wouldn't recommend wearing you know hot pink undergarments underneath it's kind of a hybrid of a canvas and a cotton type material I ordered these in a small and these were the perfect length for me they are a very wide silhouette although I would have preferred a softer fabric. I do like these and I will be wearing them. My biggest complaint though is that the pockets are small. Not super small, but compared to most Shein pants which have large pockets, the pockets on this one are small. That's all I gotta say. Next pair of trousers, bright pink. These are kind of like this the previous pants except the material feels thinner and it also feels more delicate. These do feel cheaper than the previous pair of pants. They are a wide leg fit and the pockets on this pair are much better than the pockets on the previous pair. Overall, I will be wearing these since I own them and they're not terrible, but I wouldn't recommend purchasing them because there are better uses of how you can spend your money on the Shein website. If you didn't know this, Shein has a couple of sub brands, I guess you would call them. They're a higher quality sub brand of Shein, so the pricing is also a little bit higher. The first sub brand I would call it is Motif. I got a pair of $60 pants. This is probably the highest quality item I have ever gotten from Shein. These are very heavy. They are quite thick. Does the money reflect the quality? I would say yes. These do have a good amount of pocket room. They don't have pockets in the back, unfortunately. Although the quality of these pants is really good, I actually don't like them very much. Just because of how wide the fit of the leg is. I knew they were gonna be wide. I just expected them to be a little bit more narrow. Again, ordered a small and the length seems to be pretty appropriate. Next section, tops, tanks, blouses, everything you wear on the upper half of your body. I'm gonna start with bodysuits. I ordered this three pack. With tighter fitting tops like tank tops and bodysuits from Shein, I do recommend ordering a size up. I ordered a medium rather than a small. Overall, these are decent quality. Something weird though is the material of this green and black bodysuit is different than the material of this white bodysuit. Also, the white one is tighter. This is actually not the first time this has happened to me with Shein clothing before. Is the white bodysuit material bad? No. Will I still wear it? Yes. Overall, I do think this is a good value for your money. I got a few blouses. The first one is the one I'm wearing right now, actually. I am very, very, very picky about which blouses I order, the quality of them, and what material they're made out of. And here's why. If you get a regular cotton blouse like this, You'll have more ability to make outfits. It's more versatile than if you were to get a blouse with a more silk type finish. Because with a blouse like this, you can roll up the sleeves like I did. 
and it adds a lot more volume and shape to the blouse. This blouse is from the Daisy line, which gives you a clue the quality is likely to be better than the regular Shein line. I love this blouse. It's not see-through. I'm actually not wearing like a tank top underneath, just a bra. This blouse does have a little slit in the side, which depending on your preferences, you might like or hate. I personally actually like this slit because it makes it easier to tuck your blouses in in a variety of different ways. Quality is decent. Overall, I would recommend this. My ultimate number one clothing essential is an oversized white blouse with a cotton material. So I already have one, but I got another one as a backup just in case something happens to it. It's more of a delicate material. It's not exactly a satin finish, but I would describe it as somewhere between a cotton like this and a satin type blouse. It's slightly see-through, but I think it was designed to be slightly see-through. The quality of the material does seem good. It's just not what I was expecting, but I will be wearing it. When it comes to Shein, I've had, let's say a range of different experiences with sweaters. I've gotten some sweaters from Shein that are so, so, so itchy. I believe this material is acrylic. This sweater is not scratchy, although it's not really soft either. It's kind of just in the middle. I don't find it to be bothersome and I will say I think I'm more picky than most people when it comes to quality. I actually mostly got this as a layering piece because the black and white stripes are super versatile. It doesn't fit cropped but it doesn't fit oversized either. It's just kind of like that perfect length. This sweater is not thin but it's not thick either. If you're looking for something that's going to keep you warm in sub 60 degree weather, this sweater probably isn't gonna do it. Next up, I got a few t-shirts. I am very picky with the fit of my t-shirts. You know those women's fit t-shirts that are like the tight ones, with like the tight armpits and that make you sweat? I'm already sweaty, so I can't do that. I like my t-shirts to have a little bit of shape, a little bit of volume. I believe this black t-shirt is by the Motif line. The material is quite soft. The fit is nice. The style of the sleeves give it a little bit of volume, so if you pair it, tucked in with a pair of pants. It, it gives a really nice fit. Would definitely recommend that one. I also got a white t-shirt. This is by the Daisy line. I ordered this one in a size medium. Similar to the black t-shirt, this has that little bit of volume. I actually don't like this one as much as the black one. I will be wearing it because I don't hate it. Overall, it's just kind of shrunken down compared to what I expected, but I do think there are probably better options for white t-shirts on the website. Next, I got a pair of shorts. This pair of shorts is by the Motif line and they're basically like a pair of trousers that stop right above the knee. I thought they would be a good length for a work short, but to make them more casual, I could also roll up the bottom of the shorts. The answer is no, you can't roll up the shorts. The material just won't let you roll them up without it falling down. I think if they're not rolled up, they just look kind of awkward. They just, they remind me of like guys basketball shorts, you know what I mean? Just the silhouette of them. Although the quality is good, if you don't like the basketball short type look. I wouldn't recommend these. Last section here, we're talking about jewelry and accessories. So I'm going to start with some necklaces. So the necklaces I'm wearing right now are a couple of silver necklaces also from the Motif line. They were $8 and I am quite impressed with the quality. Do I know right now if they're going to tarnish? No. I will say though, I ordered a silver chain style necklace from Shein maybe a year ago and they've had very very little tarnishing and i've worn it many times i spent probably a solid 45 minutes looking for the perfect bag that can duel as a bag you'd bring to class in college and also as a work bag of course the number one criteria is it can fit the only thing that basically everyone needs your laptop. I got these both in black and in beige. The reviews were great. They also come with a little zipper. Both the bags do fit my 15 inch MacBook easily when they're open. However, if you are to zipper them up, it barely is able to zipper and you're not gonna be able to pack much else in there. If you don't plan on zippering it and you wanna just throw your laptop in with a, you know, a couple other things, maybe like some notebooks and pens, it'll easily fit. Everything about this channel is about being versatile and affordable. So if you're looking for a bag like that, I think it's definitely worth the money. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. I know everyone says it helps with the algorithm, but it really, really does. And if you're interested in seeing more style YouTube videos from me, make sure to click the little video in the end screen here and I'll see you there.